Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a transition like this one. I've already imported the two pictures that I'm going to use and to start we need to create a few compositions. The first composition that I'm going to create is going to be using the HDTV 1080 preset and it's going to be 6 seconds long. I'm going to call it main. Then I need to create a composition using the same settings and this time I need to set the duration to 3 seconds and I'm going to call it image 1. And then let's select this composition and press Ctrl D 1, 2, 3 times and I'm going to rename uh, image 3 to image 1 underscore 1 and I'm going to rename image 4 to image 2 underscore one. So we're going to be placing our two pictures inside of these two compositions. So let's open them and then let's select the first image, place it right here and then we need to scale it down. To scale it down proportionally you can press shift like that and then we're going to open the composition image 2 and import image 2. Again, I need to scale it down and then I'm just going to slightly move it up like this. Then we need to open these two compositions and I'm going to place image 1 into image 1 underscore 1 and I'm going to place image 2 into image 2 underscore 1. So I can close these two right now and then let's press Control D one two times so right now we have three of these compositions and we're going to enable the grid. Then go to view and enable snap to grid. Select the rectangle tool and the first layer. And then I need to grab four and a half of these squares right here for the first mask. For the second mask, I'm just gonna continue where I left off and again, grab four and a half squares like this and for the third mask I'm just gonna mask the rest of it but again this is four and a half squares too. So let's close these and as you can see we pretty much divided the screen into three parts. Now let's do the same thing right here press ctrl D two times enable the grid and then enable snap to grid the rectangle tool is already selected and we just need to do the same thing right here. Grab four and a half, then again just continue where I left off. Grab four and a half and I need to do the same thing with the last part of the image. Again I can turn off the grid when I'm done. And now the effect that we're going to be applying to these pre-comps is going to be called offset. So I'm going to apply it to the first and to the third layer in both of these compositions. Like this. I forgot to turn off the grid right here. So inside of the first composition I want to move the playhead right here to um, 10 frames before the end and I want to create a keyframe for the shift center property Then I can press U with both of these layers selected to show the keyframe that I've just created And then I'm going to press shift and page down to move the playhead to the end of the composition Right now with the first layer selected. I'm going to add 400 to this value right here and I'm going to subtract 400 from this value down here. So if I preview this, this is what we've made. Then right here we're going to create a set of keyframes at the beginning of the composition like this and I'm going to press U to show them. Then let's move to the 10th frame and create a second set of keyframes. So right here where I added 400, I'm going to subtract 400 and then down here I'm going to add 400. So this is what we have so far. The next step would be to select these four keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them, then open the graph editor and make sure that you're editing the speed graph and then just drag these handles out like this. 
Then we're going to do the opposite right here. Open the graph editor and then drag these handles to the left like this. And then the final step would be to import these two compositions inside of the main composition. Then just drag this right here. And as you can see, if I play this, this is what we've made so far. The next step would be to create a new adjustment layer and then move the playhead to three seconds. Press shift and page down and control shift D. Cut off the rest of the composition. Then press shift and page up one, two times. And then again, hit control shift D to split this. Now the effect that we're going to apply to the adjustment layer is going to be called optics compensation. Let's apply it to the adjustment layer. Then let's create a keyframe right here at the beginning. Let's create a keyframe at, I'm going to press U at three seconds and let's create a keyframe at the end of the adjustment layer. Right here in the middle, we want to set the value to 100 and we also want to reverse the lens distortion. And then we can select these keyframes and hit F9. Then I'm going to open the graph editor and we need to drag this handle right here. And we need to drag this handle like this. And right now, if I preview this, you can see that we're done. That's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.